Hey, this is Shabbitz. We're next door to Deathload with his cool raised bass. Um, this is the next, I think this is the next tutorial, and this is going to be about the carpenter. Because we made pillars with a saw, we made planks with two saw, so now I have three saw. So here I make pillar and here I make plank. There's some nails I got still. My saw horse just in case. So what the pillar, I'm, excuse the pillar. I'm thinking I got pillars on my mind right now. What the carpenter does once you build one, which takes five nails, four and six. So let's see, I already, we know how to do all this, so bam. You can always use another carpenter, right? <laughs> uh, I need one more log, which I just happen to have right there for once ready. Let's go get our pillars. Oh, I'm gonna need two more logs, I can tell. Plank. So all this should be, if you watched any of the tutorials we've been playing a little bit, this is all really basic now. But what the heck? Takes 30, 40 seconds, and we got us a, a uh, oh, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. There's some pillars. Put you one. Get in there, you. There you go. All right, and two. So there we go, we got us, there we go. We just made a carpenter. I don't need two right now. I'm gonna pack it. So the first thing you notice, you have a button. So here's all of our recipes, and if we look carefully at them, what is the thing we see that's common in all of these recipes is the wooden frame. So that means the first thing we should be making is the wooden frame, otherwise we can't make anything else. Oops, wooden frames. So for that recipe, it needs four planks and four nails. So I'm gonna get some planks, four planks, and I got my nails. Now what we can do here, of course you can do with, with conveyor, feed this thing, but if you're just started, you're gonna have just this machine. Well, if you go closer, it says place it in the carpenter. And because this recipe wants nails, it's gonna take the nails. And it, you can see now it has 10. Now if we didn't want this to pick up the nails, let's eject those nails out of there. Let's say I wanted my nails to pass through and get picked up at another station. Well, I could put this as the bench. Now, when I place nails in the carpenter, they're gonna go right through because there's no recipe that requires it. That's a little trick you can actually use with all the different machines to get it pick up what you want and don't want it to pick up. So now we wanna make a frame. So I'm gonna put my nails back in there. It's gonna eat those up. And now it's waiting for some pil some planks. Whoops, that doesn't go there. It goes here. So now that we put all four in, you can see it has a ghost image of a box and the hammer is working now. And we can watch the little timer go up. Frames go pretty fast. So basically we're assembling our first real assembly using nails and wood to make a new product. So now we have a frame. So now if we try to put it back in the carpenter, a frame doesn't need a frame, so it's not gonna eat the frame. But if we wanna make a bed, we're gonna need one more frame. If we wanna make a, anything else, let's make a, a bench because now we have a frame and we have pillars. And I think in my last video, I messed up my math, but there's a profit to be made here, and it is, I think, $6 off this assembly instead of selling the parts by themselves. So now we fed it the parts, and it's going to start working. And if I wanted to, I could actually feed it another pillar. Whoops. Yeah, I can feed it another pillar because it wants another pillar for the next bench. That matters more when you're feeding it directly from somewhere, but 
it doesn't matter as much when you're making it. So now we can take this box and put it, run it over to the store, put it in our cart and sell it, or use it as a decoration on the base. I actually had another idea for this too, is to use it to make a, uh, a ramp system for my cart. But anyway, so yeah, that's that. So what you, that's it. You feed, set the recipe up for it by pressing the button, give it the materials in the recipe, in this case, four planks, four nails. Oh, that time I just tapped the conveyor. Oops, okay. I can fix that. So we'll feed it another one. Oh yeah, let's just tap the conveyor again. Oh yeah, okay, that works. So you don't have to get the little uh, button coming up. Just tap the conveyor. How many have we got in there? Three? Yep, three. One more and it should start working and making our next item. And there it goes. So if you take it to the next step, the bed, if you make two frames, two pillars and all the rest, two nails, four planks, that is the most profit you'll make per nail. Your return of money is 173. You're basically farming six nails to make one bed. I mean, you're buying six nails. So you're buying one box of nails you can make. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, actually, exactly. One box of nails will make one bed. That bed sells for 173. That box of nails costs 30. That is a profit of 143 money. You have to farm the lumber, but you do anyway. So bed is a great profit maker, but benches, now, you know, you can sell five beds for whatever, you know, that's a whole nother, I've talked about that. So it's a good idea to make, I mean, when I do it, I'll make two beds, two benches, two tables, so I have a little bit of everything to sell. Okay, that is your carpenter. Have fun with it. Let's go to the title screen. What did I want to say about the title screen? How many people are playing? Oh good, over 400. I like that. Okay, thanks for watching.